Hello everybody, my name is Indeed Cacti Mama, and today we're going to be playing some more Legends of Runeterra, and more specifically Path Champions, and we are going to be playing Gwen into Zed, Gwen into Zed, that is right. We are still, uh, we still have this weekly adventure, but I, I wasn't able to play it because I was literally, like, not able to play, uh, for the most part after Tuesday of last week, so still on the, the last Tuesday of September. I just wasn't able to play. Like, literally, I it just, ever since then, it was really tough for me. I was just, I got really busy, and then it was just like, I was, because I was busy, I was tired, very hard to play, so I was using a lot of the pre-recorded videos that I didn't want to use until later, but I just kind of had to, because I literally wasn't really able to record anything at all. Um, also, I was having upload problems, which is part of it. Um, so, with that being said, we've got better stuff to do now. We have... Liguin that we're going to be playing. I have a couple other champions I probably prefer to try out into uh, Mr. Zed here, but that's not important right now. What's more important right now is we're, we're going to be playing into Zed with Gwen, and the whole idea there is I have Gil Force and Ludens. Ludens is to help me with keeping my Nexus health up and uh Gale Force is because uh, I want to get recalled every single round so that Gwen is never stunned. Now, with this being said, I don't think typically Ludens is actually stronger, but, however, right now I think that Ludens is actually better because I would like to preserve my health, right? So we're going to go into the Gwen. I think that she can do pretty well here. Uh, I like Gwen a lot, honestly. Uh, and we just got the Yep Spawn Genius because we have plenty of one-drops, including a one-drop that spawns literally every single turn. Now, would we like Gwen in our starting hand? Yep. Yes, we would. And also, the other nice thing is that it means that our, our little one-drop guys that spawn in an Ephemeral won't get recalled, most likely, whenever we summon them. I was say, they typically won't have something that... It's just that buff that it just, it just does not matter. Alright, beautiful. But yeah, typically one is a very offensive deck, so by allowing ourselves to get some life back is, I think, the right play to go for. Uh, and they won't attack here, I'm assuming, with this guy. Yep. Just let him die, and then... Next round, we'll have an, the ability to... Ooh, unfortunately, they might recall my sapling. Oh, no, they stunned my sapling. That's also not ideal, but it's okay. We still get Gwen with Scout, which does pretty well. Now, with that being said... Still not amazing. Wait, yeah, I was going to say, we should drain three, but I'm not entirely sure how we're not draining more. Oh, I guess it's... I forgot our cap of health is right there. I was like, wait a second, what, that doesn't make any sense. But yeah, we're still killing three from there. Um, and then we should level up Gwen here, which is nice. Look at that. Look at that. Boom. The Luden's gaming. And honestly, the uh, reveal season's probably coming up pretty soon here. Which is going to be interesting. Also, by the way, Guild Force is kind of an OP relic. Like, unless you're playing, like, a champion that just cannot win in one turn, which is pretty rare that a champion can't do that. So, it's just kind of interesting to me. It's like, well, he's kind of OP. I'm going to block for more health, probably. And then, because I can get past them pretty easily here. And then we will go this guy for more mana. And this guy for another unit, because one of them is going to get stunned. Then we're going to play Gwen next turn. And see, because we played it like this, we can play Gwen, and then we can play this guy. And we will for sure have the ability... Okay, maybe not for sure. I probably should have Gwen instead the Needler, actually. Um, well, we're going to attack the Scout first, of course. Wow, they let that attack go through. No. I decide when I die, not you. Raw. All right. Nice. And then he's obviously gonna block, but I don't know if it's gonna do anything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
was like they should not have let me attack the first time and not get blocked, but the AI is weird like that. But hey, we'll take it, right? We'll take it. I'm not that mad. One second, let me open my door real quick. Also, the, the pass has almost ended, too, which is pretty interesting. Um, I'm still waiting on one challenge left on my pass. Uh, I don't know. I'm trying to think about exactly when this video is going to come out. I think the pass will still be up whenever this video comes out. Let me see here. Those saplings will be really strong. That's why I have to take it. Um, yeah, the pass will still be up. Wait, no shot. I didn't get one more damage with Spirit of the Ram, man. Come on, dude. Alright, whatever. I'll have to go back and finish out. Look at this. That's insane. Alright. <sighs> Our reinforcements here. That's a lot of healing, which is nice. But the avalanche is actually pretty good, too. Which is, it's a, you know, four mana deal four to everything. Not bad. Not bad. Ooh, concussive palm's really good, though, too. But I don't really need karma. The problem. Rumble's really good, too. Ooh, this is tough. I think this one's just... The problem is that this unit is useless. But is are these really that useful, either? None of them are one drop. Yeah, we'll just go with the Nibia. Good s stuff for us if the game goes longer. Now, this one is... Honestly, not that terrible for us. All right, beautiful. Going into it. Perfect. Okay, we have a nice curve. And yeah, and this is going to be a really good unit for us. But we're going to hopefully try and use it on our offensive turns, not our defensive turns. Now, the beautiful thing is this guy is fearsome, so he can literally just attack. There's nothing they can do. Now, unfortunately, they might have a unit that, uh, you know. Yep. See, like, it's going to recall now. But I can play the Undying now. We are not going to give them Elusive. Beautiful. Now we play Gwen, who cannot get recalled. It's gone. By the way, this is why we have the heal, right? It's like, imagine if they did like 18 damage to us or something. We can just literally heal at that, right? And then while we're doing it back, we level, and then once we level, we literally are completely fine. Beautiful. No matter their resolve, mine will be stronger. All right, beautiful. We've got the drain going, and that means that we'll be able. To, and it also is nice because it means that even if we lose all of our units, Gwen herself can still do a lot. I like Ludens. I don't know if it's necessarily her best one, but it's pretty darn good. It's up there. I really don't want this guy spawning more of himself. Yeah. Alright. I'm gonna play that. And what I think we'll do is we'll go from that into Blighted Caretaker into Gwen, right? Yep, we'll have enough mana for it, so we're gonna do that. Blighted Caretaker into Gwen. Okay, and then we go Gwen here. And we can attack with Gwen first. She'll drain a little bit in here. She'll drain four, which is perfectly fine. We'll wear them down over time, too, because it's kind of hard for them to remove me. One, two, and... Oh, two. Wait, how much attack am I going to get? Four attack. Uh, we can kill you and you. An attack with you. Beautiful. They gave him up. Okay, beautiful. Alright, I think we're in a pretty good spot now. 
Jeez, another one? See, but the thing is, like, they can do so much damage and it still won't matter because Gwen with Scout and Ludens is just insane. She scales too hard. Alright, look at that. Get a few blockers here. But it is exactly awesome. All right, one, two, 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 and they're dead. Okay, nice. I don't really need a lot of attackers, anyways. Most of them are ephemeral, and then ephemeral, and then next turn I can play Gwen again, and I think I should have this one in the bag. Even though they kind of nerfed you just a little bit with the summon effect, I think I still got it, and I'm even going to have enough. Uh, mana for atrocity as well. Yep, I can just do that. The first time around, for scout, give myself a little bit of extra power, and then the next time around, go like this. Look at that. Cool. We won't even take damage to our nexus, anyways. But yeah, Gwen can get some pretty insane numbers, by the way, if the game goes on long enough. That's like the other crazy thing is her star powers literally lend herself to a, a longer game at, if you want to. Because she can drain so much damage. Kind of crazy, actually, when you think about it. Uh. Keeping ourselves alive is like feels like a really good idea, so I'm just gonna do this. Giving her more damage is never bad. Never bad. Um so so good. And Fury doesn't matter as much because you're recalled at the end of the round, right? So Fury kills don't matter as much for that three damage will always be there, even if it's just for an attack or two. So yeah. Pretty, pretty good. I'm actually gonna full mulligan here. Yes! Alright, nice. That much, that's what we like to see. I was gonna say, I, I doubt they're gonna have... Something that can be, you know, used by this stuff here, but... Alright, beautiful. We can play this guy. Yep. They don't want to attack, which is fine. We can play the Star, let's see our next round after they play stuff. And we're just gonna pass. Alright, beautiful, now that we don't have to pass anymore, we can play this. And then... Well, that's unfortunate. Uh... Alright, uh... I think what we do is we go like this. There we go. Alright, and then... We can play the Phantom Butler. And then we can play Gwen next round. Okay, cool. We're gonna summon an illegal contraption. And this should be leveled right now. Beautiful. Look at that. One stitch at a time will make something totally new. Totally new. There we are, like so. Look at how much healing we got. Look how much face damage we got. We got 12 face damage. And it can ramp up even more in the next couple rounds here. Come on. Round start. Let's go. Come on. Let's see what we got. And not the best keywords.
Okay. All right. Uh, like something like this. And then we can play Gwen next round. Another guest. Wonderful. I think we played the Starlet here before Gwen here. Because I can just play Gwen there. Or not. I don't have to. Alright. Yeah, I was like, as long as they don't have stuns, we're fine. Which they don't really have a lot of in this deck. Their only stuns come at the round start, right? Like, that's the whole idea. Alright, and now I should have enough to where this should be completely fine. Nice! Nice! We did it! The drain is working, guys! The drain plan is working! <laughs> I actually think it's a pretty clever plan too. We just constantly recall. We we rat, we attack twice with scouts. As long as we don't get killed within one turn, we should be fine, right? Which should not really happen too often. We should never really die in one turn too often. Which so it just means that yeah, you, know, you just gotta be smart, be prepared. All right, one sec. Oh, we're still gonna take the buff, obviously. One second, guys. All right, I'm back here. Uh. Let us see. Ooh, tough on that one's really good. Go tough here. We don't really need the healer. So let's go to the shop. Prefer a different... Eh, whatever. I don't think we're going to be able to find anything. And we need to save our rerolls. For powers that might potentially be better than commons. We'll just take that one. Oh, <sighs> I could have waited on that uh, that avalanche because that would avalanche would have been really good for Fizz. It doesn't even target, so like it would have been super duper good. But nah. All right. Dang, double Fizz. Oh. Alright, play that one as well. Let's see what they do here. Beautiful. Alright, nice. Two blocks off, including two hollow deaths, so we'll have uh, two total hollow deaths going into the next round, most likely. Alright, beautiful. That's fine. Oh, but it doesn't level her because of that. Oh, okay. I see what they went for there. Well, that's unfortunate. Alright, beautiful. They couldn't pull that trick twice. Gwen will still level. I actually think Gwen's best combo is the Troll King's Crown. But, I like the survivability of Ludens for this run especially. I think Ludens is like the safer build, but then Troll King's Crown is probably the stronger build, if that makes sense.
All right, I think we've done it. I think we're in a good spot. Eight, seven off the gate here. There we go, we're draining 12 off one attack. Let's get out attack. Look, oh my god, I'm so close. I'm so close. Well, that's annoying. Man, almost there. I should still be fine, but... Just you doing? Oh, shut up, one. All right, and I can play the ha the avalanche here. Okay, and we can play this on them, which will revive them and give us a new blocker. Get a couple more hollow deaths in there. We'll be at eight. Oh my goodness, guys. Eight hollowed deaths. That is gonna be a lot of damage. A lot, a lot of damage. All right, did we finally turn it around here? Beautiful. I think we did it. Drain the ally as well. We'd literally be draining 16 right now, so if we were really, really worried there, we would have been completely fine still. Keep in mind, we're doing this on Glenn, by the way, with less than ideal pa power setup. Like, typically you'd want to, uh, uh, typically you'd want, uh, her, your, her star three, right? Which would mean it should be getting those deaths every single round instead of every other round. All right. Well, I might actually re-roll your, none of these, I mean, I guess this one's pretty good. Why not? It gives us barrier, which means that we can play her on her uh, defensive turn as well. Actually, I like reset a lot here. I'm going to go reset. The damage in the enemy nexus would be good too, but we're going to go here. Get that item. All right. Where are we at here? Get rid of that one. I always like the how peaceful the Star Guardian board is, by the way. I don't know if you guys feel the same way, but I always like the do 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 do. You know, it's just very peaceful. Alright, uh Um, sir? Alright, so this guy's gonna get stunned, unfortunately, but there's not much we can do about that. See what I mean? Like, we've been getting an extra Hallow Death every single turn for free. The problem is, is it's like... You don't really have any control over it. Well, that's unfortunate. Alright, now this summon is really good because... We can get a lot of damage down and also protect ourselves a little bit. So, dead here and dead here. Fortunately, we won't level up, though. Still pretty good, though. 
Oh my god, this is why we got Chrono Break, so we could rally, right? Like, rally with Scout is really good. Okay, beautiful. We're gonna level up off the first Scout attack. Alright. And then we're still going here. Look at how much we're draining now. Look at that. Beautiful. Alright. And then we're going to get another unit to block with. And then we're going to have Chrono Break, which will synergize well with this guy here. Alright, beautiful. Get rid of the Dauntless Vanguard. Get a Gwen in here. Chrono break this bad boy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Alright, beautiful. He's got attack first. Nice, he just gave it to me. Beautiful. Boom. Alright. Kill Force Gwen. We're on the move here. Alright, I'm slowly waking up, guys. I had to take a midday nap. Whew. Which is not typical for me, by the way. I just. It's been a struggle, guys, here. Trust me. That's good for extra mana, which we like. When being able to be summoned earlier is really good. Beautiful. Uh, ooh. <sighs> but what do we have here in the solitary? Okay. I'm actually going to reroll here. So, sapling buffs is actually really good. And then this is really good too. No, but we can't get both. That's so lame. That's so lame. Alright, unfortunate, but... And I think we'll go to this guy here. But yeah, you know, I think we're looking pretty good. Our saplings are now even better. Because they, there are another plus three, plus three on them. All right. Play that one first. We've got good blockers. We've got really good blockers. Do as much damage as possible. All right. Let's see what we get here. If we get a Gwen, actually, we can just attack, but we don't get a Gwen, so we're just gonna glimpse. Rip my little Poro. There we go. Nice. Should we four Hallow Deaths? No, three. Okay. This guy still can't attack. We're gonna kill him though, probably. For this guy. Cool. Well, never mind. We're gonna go and kill this guy then. Look at that. Seven sixes. Easy. Easy. If they attack, I'm still gonna block. There we go. If I could get a Gwen, that'd be great, but I still think I'm doing good without Gwen here. There we go. There we go. Oh, unfortunate little get hurl. You're going down. Damn. Alright, nice. Three damage into boom. Level. Scissors. Alright, beautiful. Look at how much more drain we get as well. And then we're going to be able to do this next turn too because we have Rally, right? Alright, and then we've got Barrier as well, meaning that we'll be able to block any attacks that do any of this stuff. Alright, 
All right. The dragon will keep you safe. Oh, I can just go like that. Because now, unfortunately for him, look at all this. Look at all that. Well, we'll play first. Nah, I'm gonna attack like this actually. It's been a while since I've been able to attack with bow. There we go. Look at all that damage. Yeah, the best play would still be to scout attack first, obviously. They probably wouldn't even block, to be honest, but... Eh, it's fine. Alright. They like that card a lot more now. We can draw the champion. Spells chest. Get see if we get anything good here. Ooh, that one seems good to me. So does this one, but that one seems just even better. And then we're just going to cut a card, I think. I actually don't like a dying that much. In our deck, so I'm going to cut it. It's too low in power for us to really be able to use it efficiently. Let's hope we draw when here. Hmm. We'll keep these cards. Oh, we got a Glint. Nice. Now, if they play a Zed here, should be able to just kill him. Oh yeah. Bye bye, Zed. Boom. Nice. A five four from the man right there. Level. Boom. Nice. And then we're gonna kill the second jet here. There we go. Look at that. Plus an extra six damage. Plus this second jet kill. I'm gonna say if they play a third jet, how many zets does he have? He's gonna get four damage total because of the strike on the Nexus. But we have one again. Look at that. Easy. There we go. Should be pretty free there. 14 damage drained instantly. Easy peasy. Alright guys, look at that. Look at that. We did it with Annie. We, we did it with the Alawi. Now we've done it with Gwen. Alright, we're... We're taking it on the champions that aren't just level 30, right? And honestly, I don't think I was ever sweating with one there. I think Gale Forest Ludens is kind of disgusting, to be honest. Getting that double attack, if you're going to go that that route, and the, for the survivability aspect, is pretty great. I, I mean, honestly, Gale Force might be one of her better relics. I'm not even sure. You know, like, you could probably make an argument for it. I probably believe you there, you know, like that would be a pretty easy, you know, route to kind of look at and be like, yeah, you know what, that's pretty strong. So, yeah, I, I mean, I don't know, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, but I like it a lot. I like the, the Gale Forest Ludens combo, and honestly, she was able to take on four stars, Ed, who isn't what I would call like the most OP of OP, but it, Gale Forest really kind of hard counters that run. If you don't play Gale Forest, it becomes a little bit tougher, right? But with that being said, let me know what you guys, again, let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below. But other than that, leave a like, subscribe, all the good stuff. But otherwise, peace.